Ask yourself, how many people have cried for our country because of something that they have lost? Because someone that they thought was a great person was ridiculed? The things that people dreamed about having in our country have been taken away because of the new leadership. If you even want to call it leadership, it is not really leadership. It is the destruction of our country. How many times have you laid awake at night with tears in your eyes and said, where is it gone? Who have we become? Why have we let this happen? Where are the men of backbone? Where have they gone? Why do we constantly allow our children to be indoctrinated, allowed them to be cowardly, to lay down and just take what is given to them? They have no voice. They are afraid to speak up. How many tears would our grandfathers for in their graves be crying? Be crying because that you have let the country go. We need to ask these questions. Because if you don't ask them now, the tears of your children and your grandchildren will make an ocean of remorse. Tears. Because things were taken away. The dreams and the hopes that we had, all in a flash. Gone. Gone because people decided that they were too tired to stand up. Too tired to raise up their voices. Too tired to say, no, we're not going to take this. You're not going to do this to us. People have to stand up and say, I'm mad as hell. And I'm not going to take this anymore. Young people cry tears because they just don't know what feels future that they have. Native people in all countries around the world cry because their heritage and their future and their culture has been taken away. Yeah, they think that we're non-essential. We've been told that a lot in the last few months. We are unnecessary. We're disposable. The world goes on without us. We're in lockdown, in chains like inmates, slaves to the nanny state. Yes, the world goes on without us. They just found out how unnecessary and non-essential we are. But we know the truth. Those leaders, they've taken everything away from us. And young people, yeah, they see how their grandparents and parents were used to be free. We were free to do what we wanted. But now we have turned into that nanny state. We are told what to do, when to do it, how to do it. Everything we do is something that we were told that we have to do. People have to fight. We can fight or we can die. It is that simple.